This video shows how you can delegate administrator rights in your repository for a specific collection. Right now I'm logged in as a repository administrator. So I'm part of the admin group. So I have the widest range of administrator privileges possible. And I'm on the homepage of the, Admi the test collection in the Admire community. When I'm on the homepage of a collection, I can see context related links and the link we need here is edit collection. And when we go into edit collection, the tab or the place we need to go to is the assigned roles tab. In the assigned roles tab, you can create a group of collection administrators. So the moment you click on this create, um, create button, you will create a group and there you can add people to be um, privileged as your collection administrators. And the privileges they have, they are described here in this box. They can decide who submit items to the collection. So they can also manage this submitters group. They can edit item metadata and add or map existing items from other collections to this collection. So that's what collection administrators can do. Another thing in terms of privileges that you can do is to restrict the default read access of new items coming into your collection. So by default, uh, if you haven't set this up, it will default to anonymous. So non-logged in users will uh, be able to log in uh, um, to, to see the content of this collection. When you click on this button restrict, a group will be created for this read access. So then you need to uh, put other groups as member of this group or individuals in this group for them to have uh, read access. But it's very important to know that this read access only applies to content going into that collection after you've created that group. Because every time a new uh, item comes into a collection, it looks at these collection settings, sees okay what kind of default policies are applicable and then applies these policies to the item. So it's a, it's a one-shot process that happens when new items come into the collection. So this is why if you set this up now, it will only apply to new items coming in. Retrospectively, if you would remove these restrictions again, it will again also apply for, um, for the new items coming into your, repo, uh, to your collection after you've done this. One interesting thing that um, a collection admin cannot do, where you as the general repository admin will need to help if this is applicable, is to set a specific submission form for this collection. So when you go into uh, content administration, which you have available as a general admin, you can go to upload XLS input forms. So this gives you, this is the page where you see some details about which uh, submission steps that you can uh, activate and what the different forms are for. Uh, but let's say that you want to, um, that you want to give a specific collection, a specific submission form. It's up to you to download this file, um, configure this form, and then indicate that you want to use this specific form for your, uh, for that collection. The editing and the, uh, the editing of these forms is not in the scope of this video, but more instruction on that is uh, is available from Admire. Thank you.